I'm James Ernest, and today we're playing Fair Market. Fair Market is a new gambling game played with a brand new deck. Uh, this is the Knots deck. It's a three-suited deck. Uh, the three suits are cups, bells, and flags, which are blue, green, and red. And the ranks uh, are ace, which is usually high, but it's technically a one. Then the numbers two through nine, then the tens, which are ranked 10 through 60, and then three face cards. Uh, this deck has dots to remind you of the order of these cards, which are page, consort, and queen. Uh, let's put that ace on top too, then ace on top. Today we're playing with four players, Bauer, Stark, Hammer, and myself. First of all, I'm gonna give a hand of five cards to every player. And I deal another five cards into the center. I'm using these five chips just to remind me where the center of the table is, but you don't really need that. These five cards do that job just fine. This game is essentially a contest for pots of chips. So we're gonna play one card in each station and try to win that pot. We start by anteing five coins, which is gonna be one for each pot. And that's all it costs to play the game. Before we play, we're gonna arrange our hands. And so I've gotta sort my five cards in the order that they're gonna play, starting on the dealer's left. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna pick the card that I wanna play on the first slot, the second slot. I'm not gonna think about this too much because I just wanna show you how the game works. You can play your cards completely randomly. It's not the smartest thing to do, but the game will survive it because this is a game written for pubs where a lot of the players might be playing drunk. At each station going down the, the list, we're now gonna turn over a card that plays at that station. So for instance, I've played a three of cups on this page of cups. Similar to a trump game, the card in the center, the, the, the table card says, this suit is high for this play. So cups is the highest suit. Uh, Bauer has played an ace, which is the absolute highest card. Stark played a 20, and Hammer played a 10. We all played cups, but the high hand is gonna take it. First, we're gonna look around to see what is the lowest card that was played, because the lowest card takes one chip from the pile. So my three is actually the lowest. Everyone played in suit. I take one chip, and Bauer takes what's left. The high card takes what's left. There's three chips for Bauer, one chip for myself, and that's the end of that, and we can just throw all those cards away. On the two of flags, I played a 10 of flags. Not a terrific play, but it is at least higher. There's a queen that's even higher. There's a seven of cups, which is offsuit, and then Hammer's gonna play a six of cups, which is offsuit and even lower. So we check the low card first. The lowest card among these four is the six of cups. Hammer's gonna get one coin, and then the high card, the queen is gonna get the rest. And then all these cards get thrown away. On the 10 of bells, I played a 30 of bells, just slightly higher. Bauer played a deuce of bells. Stark played a nine. It isn't necessary to follow suit. I was just playing kind of in a hurry. And the highest card played on this was the 50. So let's go with low first. The low card was the two, is gonna take one coin. The 50 is going to take the rest. And those are all trash. On the deuce of cups, I played a five of cups. I'm not really playing very well. There's a three offsuit. There's a consort offsuit. And there's a 40 offsuit. The lowest card that was played is the offsuit three, the three of flags. So Bauer gets one coin. The highest card that was played is actually my five. It's the only one that's in suit with the table card. So I'll get the rest of that. That was unexpected. And now on the final card, I played off suit four, off suit nine, on suit 60, off suit eight. The low card played was mine. I get one. The 60 gets the rest and that's the end of the hand. Now something we didn't see in that round is sometimes the table card can win. Sometimes the table card can be the highest card in the round. Sometimes it can be the lowest card in the round. Let's see some examples of that. All right, I've set this one up a little differently just so we can see some of the extra rules. As you can see, the first two cards on the table are aces and those 
are going to be wins for the table. I'll show you how that works as we go. I basically played everyone's hands randomly except for a couple of little tweaks. So let's see how it goes out on the first ace. Uh, red is the suit, flags are the suit, so the high card is going to be uh, the 40, but the higher card is the table. The lowest card played is this offsuit 7, so hammer is going to take one coin. The table is going to get the rest, and there's another station for money here, chips that carry over from one round to the next. This will become part of the pot on the next round. So this money's locked on the table right now, and all these cards get thrown away. We're going to see the same thing happen on the next ace. Uh, Bauer is actually going for low here. He played an offsuit deuce. I also played an offsuit deuce. Now this means that we're actually tied for low card. You can't tie for high, but you can tie for low. And that means each of us will take a coin from the stack before the rest carries over to the next round. On the 60 of cups, we all played randomly. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, the low card is my offsuit five, so I will take uh, one coin, and nobody played higher than the 60 of cups, so that again is going to stick around. On the four of flags, I made sure that we all played a red card higher than four because I wanted to show you what happens when the table gets the low. The four is going to keep one coin for the table, and then the highest card was the page of flags that's going to take the rest for Bauer. And now another random play on the eight. Let's see what happens. On the eight of flags, I played uh, an offsuit ace. Not exactly the best use of that ace. Offsuit four, offsuit 40, offsuit deuce. Uh, once again, this is the only card that was played in suit, which means the table played the highest card. And Hammer played the low. Hammer gets a dollar, table gets the rest. And when we set up the next round, you're going to see all of these pots carry over into the next hand. All right, I've set up the table. I'm going to go ahead and put a card in each station. And I've verified that I've got four chips in every pot from the antes from this round. And I'm also going to add that leftover money from last time to each of these stacks. All right, I've set everybody's hands for this last round. It's a big round because there's a lot of carryover pots. Let's see how it comes out. On the first round, the table card is a nine of flags. That means red is the high suit and I've got the highest in that high suit. So my, let's see, first of all, the only offsuit card, Hammer's 10, is gonna take one coin off that stack and I'll get the rest with my 50. On the Ace of Bells, everyone is probably going to shoot low if they can because nobody can play high. Hammer got the low again, so Hammer takes the coin, the table gets the rest, and that pot continues to carry forward. On the Nine of Cups, we see uh, Hammer once again getting the low. And the highest card is the 20 of cups. So Stark gets the rest of that money. On the 60 of flags, I tried to go low. So did Bauer. So presumably did Stark. And so presumably did Hammer. Nobody played any red, so that's going to stay with the table. But the low card got one. That was mine. And then on the last round, the Eight of Cups, I played the highest cup I had, the Page of Cups. There's a 60 just below it, there's a 9 offsuit, and there's an Ace on the top. So the 9 takes one of the coins, the Ace takes the rest. And uh, that's the end of that round. Now the rules we've learned so far are really the most basic rules, and they're kind of missing an element that makes the game much more interesting, which is jackpots. We're going to talk about that now. In almost every variation of this game, there is some version of a rule that benefits someone who plays their hand to lose. In other words, if you have the world's worst hand, if you can play it and take nothing, you can actually get a bonus from that. The very basic jackpot rule works like this. There's another imaginary space on the table. We'll just use this deck to represent it. That is the jackpot space. And normally there is no money in that space. But anytime there is a carryover pot, 
that has more coins than the number of players, we're going to put one of those coins into the jackpot, which makes it bigger and also makes it easier to win. There are five coins carrying over in spot two right now. One of those is going to go into the jackpot. The other four are going to stick around for the next hand. To win the jackpot, you have to take zero coins in the whole round. So you have to play every card with the hope of not capturing either the high or the low. If you can do that, you get not only the coins in the jackpot, but also any carryover pots from that round. Let's see how that works. Our first round is going to be the queen of flags. Let's see what everyone played. Eight of flags. Offsuit 10, offsuit 7, offsuit 6. The offsuit 6 is the low card, so I'll get the low. There is no high, so these three coins are going to carry over. Now, if anybody had a high flag, they probably played it on this 30 because more money in that pot. Let's see what's out there. I played the highest one I had. Played a 60. There's a 50 offsuit. There's a 20 offsuit. And there is a consort, which is the highest card. So the low card is the 50. High card is the consort. Well done, Hammer. On the Eight of Bells, we've got an ace. Well, that, that was played wrong. I just ordered that wrong because clearly that card should have gone before that. All right, let's see. The low card is the six of cups. The high card is the queen. On the four of bells, I played an offsuit 10. Here's an onsuit 10, onsuit 20, onsuit ace. Mine is the low, ace is the high. Another tall stack for hammer. And on the final card, the 20 of cups, I played my highest cup, the page. There's an offsuit 5, there's an onsuit 30, there's an onsuit 40. So the low card is the 5 of bells minus the high. I took a total of 5 coins this round and broke even. That's nice. Now let's see if anyone qualified to win the jackpot. Ordinarily, to win the jackpot and all the carryover pots, you have to take 0 coins in a round. But because we've actually got it charged up with a single coin here, you can qualify by taking 1 coin or less. And Stark did take only one coin on this round. So uh, the totals for that round, I took five, Bauer took two, Hammer took a lot, Hammer took 17. Stark took one, which is normally not enough to qualify you for the jackpot, but since there is one coin here, she does qualify, which means she gets the one and the three. It's not a huge pot, but it's still better than nothing, and it's possibly the best you could have done with a bad hand. Those are the basic rules for Fair Market, both with and without the jackpot. There are other variants, including special abilities for the face cards and other ways to do jackpots, including dummy hands, sort of similar to what I'm playing with here. You can check them all out at crabfragment.com.